What comes to mind when I say Ricky Ricardo and great cigars? Oh, tapioca. <laughs> really? Why is that? Wasn't that his big song? Oh. Tapioca! Tapioca! <laughs> no, God. <laughs> talking about you. <laughs> That's uh, Colin Mockery with Ryan Stiles. Classic. Classic. Whose line? Clip. Colin Mockery coming to the Genesee Theater uh, next week. I will be there with my daughter Amy as Colin Mockery joins us now. I think I've talked to you about this before, my friend, but my daughter thinks you're the funniest man in the universe. Well, obviously, you've raised her right. She seems intelligent. <laughs> she seems to have a lot on the ball. She's going to go far in this world. Yeah, well, she has and is, but I will say this. Uh, you know, I, I, I kind of get paid to do that, you know, be funny occasionally, and I'm happy to be second because I agree with her. You always make me laugh. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm good. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and mine. Go with that. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'll so absolutely. it's so weird to have an egomaniac Canadian on. Mm -hmm. Normally it really wouldn't go that way. Yeah, I'm really pushing it. It's uh it's actually going against everything in my body to be <laughs> this non humble. <laughs> Andrea, say hi to Colin. Hey Colin, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? I am good. I know you were at Second City for a couple of years. Have you been back? Have you seen any of the new shows, the youngins up and coming? Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, It's sort of like the mafia. You never really get away from Second City. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, you always think once you leave, well, that'll be the end of it. They'll uh, shut up and go somewhere else. But there's always new talent out there. It's just, it's amazing. It's never ending. Yeah. Well, the funny thing about, and Colin, you know this, funny thing about being a comedian, you always have people come up going, <laughs> I got a joke for you. Do people come up to Colin Mockery and go, I've got a great scene for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always. <laughs> it's got, here's a skit idea for you. Like, well, okay. I, you know, and I let, and if there's something there, obviously I'm going to take it. I'm not an idiot. But usually it's, uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's probably best for, you know, in the kitchen with your uncles. Yes, yes, yes. Now, look, the one bit that, just always kills. I mean, you know, you're, you kill throughout, but I mean, the one that always just floors everybody and almost puts my daughter in the hospital is when you go sound effects. And the, this game for people that f for some reason might not be aware is you bring a couple people out of the audience and you with Brad Sherwood in the case of the show next week at the Genesee, um, you go through a scene and they have to provide the sound effects and they're almost always terrible at it. <laughs> Yeah, the beauty of that scene, it's really a win-win. If they do well, it's great. If they don't, it's even better. Um, <laughs> last night we had a show, and we had the perfect mix. The person doing my sound effects was great, and the one doing Brad's wasn't so much. So that <laughs> was also fun because it gives this new dynamic to the scene where all my stuff is so much better than his, and uh, it took it off into a different direction, which was great. <laughs> I think you are just absolutely incredible. I second Amy Cochran. I, although I, although Good because God, I'm, I thought you but, picked me. But I'm working with Steve today, so you're my second favorite, Colin. Oh. But I, I just, understand. I, I'm fine. I, I think you're incredible. And I, what I think the hardest part is, and, and not being a comedian, of course, but I think the hardest part is the improv. So you do you just have to know a little bit about everything? Are you watching World News Tonight and TMZ? I mean, are you watching a little, and sports all at the same time? Yeah, you have everything you watch, every person you know um, is fuel for what you can use. Uh, so, I mean, we uh, immediately stay away from anything political because mm -hmm. we, yeah. found, especially the last couple of years, it just divides the audience. And we're not there to uh, make points in that area. We're just there to have goofy fun. So uh, the hardest part is just to be able to be comfortable enough to walk on stage in front of an audience expecting a show that you don't actually have at that moment and being fine with that. And um, we've, you know, the longer you do it, the easier it gets. It's just the most comfortable I am in life is being on stage with Brad or, or someone else um, with nothing and somehow making that show work. Yeah. It's a very fascinating brain uh, to be great at improv because the thing that you don't want is a script. The thing you don't want is to know what to do because you got to have stuff thrown at you. Right. Uh, you know, we started off by saying um, that my daughter thinks you're funnier than I am. 
And I agree with them. But um, why don't we trash some of your cohorts? Aisha Tyler or mm-hmm. Drew Carey? Um, who would you rather be shipwrecked with? Oh, um, well, Drew's richer. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. You can get a boat. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. I mean, they're both... Uh, they're both lovely. We've really lucked out with every host we've ever had for the the show, and they're they're both big fans of the show, which makes it even more fun. So yeah, but it, it would be a toss up. I mean, I'd be using them for different things. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. I wonder what you could do because Drew's hair changes constantly now. So yeah. that that could be some sort of Gilligan sort of uh, a way to get off the island as well. Uh, you're going to be there with Brad Sherwood. Brad, if I remember right, in the old Who's Line show was a guest, and he was so good at it, he eventually became a regular. Is that how that worked? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no – I'm, I'm trying – is there a story there? Nope, that was it. That was, no. That's the whole story. Okay. <laughs> yep, he was good, and they used him. Um, and he was the one who actually came up with the idea of us touring together because um, we had done shows with Drew every Super Bowl weekend at Vegas, but there was like 12 of us. Uh, so you didn't get a lot of stage time. And he said, you know, I've been thinking, why don't we go on the road and see how that works? So we had kind of a trial run, and that was 22 years ago. Isn't that crazy? It's just, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. And, and by the way, a popular internet rumor that, that pops up for a question, why is Colin fighting with Ryan Stiles? I thought mm-hmm. they were best friends. Are you still getting that question? I have. There have been so many weird things on the internet. You'll find this hard to believe. There was <laughs> one that I had accidentally killed Ryan. <laughs> Wow! Backing, backing out of my driveway and hitting him with my car, and I thought, hmm. "Wow, all right, uh, yeah." So no, we we still get along uh, very well. We enjoy each other. Uh, what I love about Ryan is we we live on different coasts. We never see each other, but whenever you know, we talk maybe once a year, and when we do, it's like I saw him yesterday. It's a very relaxed relationship. Last time uh, we did a part on Ted Lasso uh, for the final season, where mm-hmm. we. We were doing um, voiceover. We were the commentators for a, a soccer match between, mm-hmm. I think, Mexico and, and Canada. And that was the last time I talked to him. Basically, it was me trying to get him to figure out technology, which is, <laughs> it's like talking to an Amish grandfather. He didn't <laughs> understand it at all. <laughs> well, yeah, and the cool thing is, and this goes to being a man as well, because women will always say, what would you talk to your friend about? You haven't seen him in so long. Nothing. No, nothing. <laughs> Guys could drive across Canada and then swing down to America and drive across America. And if you talk twice in the entire trip, including we need to stop and pee, you're fine. Yeah. 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 Um, L- Ryan is in a relationship right now, but nobody was sure whether it was a relationship. Like the guys who tour with him regularly, they were asking me and I said, well, you see him more than I do. <laughs> and now, so nobody knew. And my wife went, oh, for God's sake, and went up to her and said, are you, uh, how long have you and Ryan been together? She said, oh, five years now. And she's like, oh, well, that's five how you do years. it. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's how you do it. That's cute, actually. You just, don't, oh, yeah. you just don't need to talk. You don't need to talk. It's okay. Oh, God. Yeah, it's okay. What do you love for an audience when they come in? Just a complete blank slate, shake the etch a sketch, just come in and be ready to participate and enjoy? Yeah, I'd love uh, for an audience to come up with stuff we've never heard before so when we're asking for suggestions for a job like for example we're not getting gynecologists and proctologists all the time or when we ask for an object we get dildo it's like you know we're trying to train the audience to actually up their game so they're giving us um stuff that sort of inspires us recently we had uh, we have a unusual occupation we got the person that you call when you're trapped in an elevator and i thought great we've never had that chances are we'll never get it again um and it, it really does inspire us and take us into places we've never been before. So that's what we're looking for. Yeah, and by the way, everything you mentioned about those topics and things that they bring up, those are all backstage demands in your writer, I'm assuming. <laughs> Absolutely, along with some vodka and Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Colin Mockery and Brad Sherwood together again. My daughter and I actually drove to see you guys uh, near Notre Dame uh, last uh, February. We're going to be there next week. It's next Thursday night at the Genesee Theater. Uh, can't wait to uh, to be there. Can't wait to see you, man. I've always been a big yeah. fan, and I always go, go thrilled when you come on the show. Well, drop back after the show and say hi. No, I would love to do that. Thanks, bud. Um, and thanks for uh, coming on. Thanks for making us laugh. We need it. Oh, thanks for laughing. I really need this career. <laughs> <laughs> He's got bills. Thanks, yeah. Colin. 
Genesee Theater dot com spelled the fancy way T H E A T R E Genesee Theater dot com. They got a, a great schedule of events coming up, but nothing better the next Thursday night. Uh, it's uh, Colin Mockery and Brad Sherwood. Very fun show. Yeah, that'll be.